Hey YouTube, you might be wondering what I'm doing in my BIOS. And well, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing a, uh, showing you the difference between an overclocked CPU and a non-overclocked CPU in Cinebench. So as you can see, I currently have it at 4 gigahertz. I'm going to put that back to stock clock, which is, um, or, I mean, um, what am I talking about? Um, 133 base clock, so yeah, 2.66. So, there we go. Okay, and also you can see the QPI has gone down to 4.8 because on a lower clock. And I'm gonna go to F10, save it. Yes. Okay. And I'll get back to you when I'm ready to do the Cinebench run for you guys. Okay, guys, I now have Cinebench up and I'm ready to do the first Cinebench run with the uh, non overclock CPU for um, reference. So there's some different ones. That's what an 860 puts out, and that's what a 960 puts out. Those are both stock clocks. So as you know, I, I have hyperthreading enabled, so it'll be fine. But here we go. Four cores, eight threads, it's an i7-920 running stock on uh, 2.66 gigahertz stock clocks. So, you can see. I can already tell you this is going to be slow from doing from past Cinebenches with my overclocked CPU. It's going to be quite slow, or at least slower, and a lot slower. Okay, we're out of the first little square. And what happened? Let's get closed. Oh, there it goes. Had a little freezing moment. But it's fine. Finishing up. Now it's actually going, you know, this is the other part of it. going to go pretty quick. And we're coming to the close. And voila, a good, uh, not a bad run. It's behind the, so you can see the extra point, you know, one four is that much uh, bigger score. So now let's see what an overclocked one will do. So I'll just show you one last thing. Score is 4.54. Pretty good for stock clock. Let's see if the uh, overclock can beat it, which it will. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert, but that's not the point of this video. The point is, how much does it beat it by? So, just, I'll be right back with that. I'm back in BIOS just to show you the uh, transformation of 4 gigahertz. Just up the base clock to 200. And let me just check that the voltage 1.23, that's fine. Plenty. And then we're good to go. So, yes. Okay, I'll be back with the next Cinebench. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, last time we did the run, I got that 4.54 on a stock 920. Now I got it running at 4 gigahertz. Let's see what it can do. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice it's much, much quicker. I mean, it's going through this, it's already starting to fill out the square, and it's been barely, um, uh, it's been under 10 seconds, so it's already starting to do its work. Look at that, go. It's already done with the square. And now it's just going to continue to increase in speed. There it goes. And look at that, it's almost done. And it hasn't been that long at all. And we're coming to the close. Finished. 
and look how well it performed. 6.90. 6.90. That's the best run it's ever done. Look at that. Destroys the 960. 4 gigahertz. It's absolutely great. My my 920 at base clock. Only thing it doesn't do better does it almost does as well as a nine a uh, 12 core 12 thread AMD. I mean, look at that. How close that is. You know, not 0.95. I mean, 1.05. My fault. Excuse me. 1.05. That's not that bad for a thing that has four more cores. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to subscribe. Take it easy.